Mauricio, welcome to Maui. Thank you. <laughs> this is your second time here in Kapalua, yes? Yeah, my third time. Third time. Yeah. Um, last year was uh, your breakout race. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, the amateur title. Yeah, and you finished cool. 11th overall. That was the moment you knew you could race with the best? Yeah, well, I was not really sure. And Leslie helped me a little bit with that, also my dad. Uh, but yeah, that was the moment we, we decided. How did you first learn about Xterra? I mean, first learn? How did you first learn about Xterra, to know about Xterra? Oh, well, yeah. I was actually like trying to do something else. I was a triathlete. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I was like trying to do, I, I have always been like kind of, you know, extreme guy, like going to the mountain bike and liking to do, just like having fun. And when we hear about the extra Mexico, we didn't doubt about it. We went there and we were like in love with the sport. What year was that when you did uh, uh, Xterra Mexico? Uh, 2012. 2012, the one in Tepalpa? Yeah. The one that was your first Xterra? My first Xterra. And then that same year, you went to the U.S., right? I and went to, no, I went, I came here. I came here to Maui, yeah, and I got second in the 15 to 19 division. Right. Yeah, but I was like just starting the mountain bike and have a, like knowing what it, what it was like. Yeah. And then this year, you did most of the U.S. races. Yeah, exactly. What was that experience like? It was incredible. It was like... Uh, I love to say that I am living my dream because <laughs> really I am. I am like traveling, knowing people, uh, so involved in the sport. And just like, I, I was talking with the guys in the interview that how is it to be a 19 year old professional triathlete? And I was like, it's really funny to be excited about my workout on Saturday instead of being excited of a Friday night party. <laughs> so yes. yeah, it's just, it's just my passion. Yeah. Um, when, when did it start? I mean, to get this good at such a young age, I mean, when did you start swimming and biking and running and when did you get into triathlon? Uh, well, the story is, it's just a father and son story. How uh, we start together, everything we started, actually my dad started doing the sports at the same time as I, as I did. So yeah, I was, I have been swimming all my life since I was like four years old or something. But when I was 10, my dad decided to do a triathlon together. Every, everybody, yeah, I mean, I, I was in my nine to 11 age group or something, uh, and I get second place, <laughs> I got second. So I was like, oh, I want to do this. I want to just be in this sport. And it was really funny. Since then we started training together. He was my coach until 18 when I met Leslie. And he has always been my, my behind me, like supporting me and ready to catch me if anything's wrong. What's it like to be coached by Leslie Patterson? Uh, it's, it's a really good experience, for sure. I mean, it's great having a, uh, someone like her, because the main thing is that she's really good like teaching you how to push your limits a little bit, you know, a little bit, uh, like showing you what it's like being a professional athlete, you know, because I don't know, some people is like, oh, you're so lucky for being a professional athlete. And actually, yeah, for sure I'm I, right? And everyone that is in the sport is really lucky, but we, we are chosen this. And it's like, as any other thing, it's like sacrificing things or just being really focused on the stuff. And that's what she has taught me. Like, this is real, this is your life, this is you. And also my dad, he loves to say that success is being able to live your life in your own way. So this is, that's like my mantra, our family mantra. So yeah, it's a little bit of all that stuff because Leslie, it's, she thinks pretty much the same as that. So it's awesome. <laughs> Do you have uh, any uh, expectations or goals for Sunday? Do you, uh, what do you think? <laughs> well, for Sunday, of course, I'm really excited. I'm super excited. I mean, being in that redoubt field at 50 pros, I really don't know some of them, uh, some of the ITU guys and just people from everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> it's going to be here. So, well, what I think is that I know what I'm capable of doing. 
I know that it could be a great day for me. Uh, but I'll, of course, I have a lot of respect to that guy, those guys, but I know that it's going to be a, a big battle out there. It's going to be interesting, and I'm just happy to be able to be healthy. Uh, I have been training better than ever, so yeah, it's just, I mean, just only God knows what's going to happen, you know? Right. Yeah. He also only knows the weather and what the course conditions are going to be like that. It's been pretty muddy out there this Oh, yeah, it's it? like kind of a roller coaster. <laughs> it's just, especially the first part. Uh -huh. uh, some parts where you, I mean, you need to take, to run with the bike a little bit in those climbs. <laughs> so I think it's going to be a really different extra for sure. Where it's That's extra, right? You, I mean, it, this, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, and we could have waves too. Yeah, well, yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to swim much in the ocean? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Well, I... All the triathlons in Mexico are pretty much in the ocean, so okay. yeah, that's... And I have always loved the ocean and stuff, and it's just part of it. What's it like being a professional Xterra athlete living in Mexico City? Are there trails to train on? Are there other athletes that you can go ride and run with? Uh, no, really. I mean, being a professional athlete and living in Mexico City is... Uh, it's interesting, because I'm tra training by myself all the time. I have pretty much no, nobody to go with. And we have some trails, but it's not really technical. That's the thing, right? But for sure climbing and for building uh, strength and all this stuff is really good. It's really good for sure. Um, so I know that you spent a lot of time in the US this year as your kind of training camps and bases. What did you do leading up to this race here in Maui? I was actually, the whole month, like three weeks in San Diego with Leslie, mm -hmm. uh, getting prepared for this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mauricio, best of luck on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>